So today's question is this. Can you use your cell phone as a boom microphone? Now before we answer this question, we need to ask, why would you want to do that? You see, in the audio world, one of the best ways to get better sound quality is just by getting the microphone closer to your subject. This is a universal law that will work with any microphone. This is what it sounds like when the microphone's on top of the camera. This is what it sounds like when the microphone is boomed right on top of me. Okay, so let's see what happens if you use a cell phone instead of a dedicated microphone. This is what it sounds like when I use a cell phone as a boom microphone. Okay, so it doesn't sound very good, but it doesn't end here. You see, now our goal isn't to get the best sounding audio, it's just to get audio that sounds better than the camera's built-in microphone. This is what a built-in microphone in my camera sounds like. And this is what a cell phone boomed on top of me sounds like. You can see the, how the cell phone just sounds way more pleasing. Now you have to realize that cell phone microphones only have one purpose, and that's to send audible words from one cell phone to the next. So because of that, cell phone microphones end up sounding very tinny. That's because sound quality isn't the main purpose here, it's the transfer of information that is. The mic sounds very tinny because it doesn't output as much bass as a traditional shotgun microphone. But with a simple EQ edit, we can boost those lower frequencies and make this microphone sound way more pleasing. This is what my cell phone sounds like without any post-processing added. This is what my cell phone sounds like when I boost the lower frequencies with EQ. Okay, so now it sounds way better. Still not a professional microphone, but in a sticky situation, this would be good enough in my books. But wait, we can go even further. So remember why I said that the closer the microphone is to the subject, the better it sounds? Well, that's actually one of the reasons why lav mics are actually very popular. Now, it may be one of those that own earbuds with built-in microphones in them. So the second question would be this. Could you use the microphone on your earbuds as a lav mic? This is what my camera's built-in microphone sounds like. This is what an earbud microphone sounds like when I use it as a lav mic. So just like the built-in microphone in your cell phone, the sound quality is kind of tinny. But once again, we can boost those little frequencies with EQ and make it sound more pleasing. This is what my earbud microphone sounds like when I don't add any post-processing to it. This is what my earbud microphone sounds like when I boost the lower frequencies with EQ. Now one last way to make your audio sound way better is by sound treating your room. Now with a shotgun microphone, this is usually less of an issue because shotgun microphones only shoot from one direction, making it less likely to hear surrounding reverb from the room. But a cell phone microphone is omnidirectional, meaning that it hears from around everywhere. Now one of the cheap ways to remove reverb is by using your bed sheets. By hanging them right beside your subject, you can remove a lot of that reverb and make the sound way more pleasing. This is what it sounds like when I use a shotgun microphone without any sound blankets right beside me. This is what it sounds like when I use my bed sheets right beside me. Now with all these things combined, let's see the difference. This is what it sounds like when I don't add any post-processing and I don't have any sound blankets right beside me. This is what our setup today sounds like. So in conclusion, can you use your cell phone as a microphone? Yes, 100% you could do it. Although it's not professional grade audio, it 100% beats the built-in microphone in your camera. Plus, with a bit of EQ and a bit of soundproofing, you can definitely get good audio quality with just the microphone on your cell phone. With that being said, I still think audio is one of the things that you should invest in, as audio is one of the most important parts of video, actually. But if you're in a pinch and you have a cell phone, you can still make it work.